All right, today I'm going to re-sculpt the head of the horse. And the reason is because I want to start with a fresh one. I don't want to start with the head, head of a horse I did two years ago. Um, I want to start with one that I've done now. And it gives me an opportunity to show you how to make a horse's skull. So I'm going to uh, take this uh, eighth inch copper tubing and stick it down in the hole. Now I'm sticking it far enough down that I'll have enough wire to when I cut off the head off this one, I can stick it into the neck of the horse and have it, uh, you know, be there, <laughs> so to speak. All right, now I need to do the head of the horse. The head length between uh, the head is determined by the length between the upper uh, shoulder blade to the front shoulder point. Uh, it's also determined by the how wide, deep the horse is. Uh, uh, a whole bunch of different measurements uh, like between there and stuff like that. This, also uh, the head measurement uh, is the same as between the bottom of the chin and the neck. Now I'm going to lengthen the neck a little bit too because it's, it doesn't quite work out that way. So I'm going to take this as the head measurement and I need to get my pliers. There they are. And I'm going to uh, bend, bend it where I want the head to be. First, yeah, like that. And I'm going to Measure from the point of the head, which will be about right there. And I'm going to deduct for the uh, clay that will go on the horse and cut off the excess. All right, now I've got an armature for the horse's head right there. Now to anchor that in place so it doesn't go wobbling around, I'm going to put a screw at the opening of the hole that the wire sticks down into. Oops, wrong direction. And just drive that down. And what that does, it pretty well locks it in place. Now, let's roll up the sleeves and get busy. All right, I'm going to show you what I did. I took a, 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 a set of pictures that I put together from a book that I got on the uh, horse's anatomy, and I scanned them into my computer, and then I made it left and right so that I can see on one sheet uh, the side of the, the face that I'm working on in the direction it's going instead of uh, you know trying to interpret a right side uh, view to a left side uh, view of the horse. And uh, reversing it in my mind, I can just look at it right here. I also know that the head length of the horse, which I've plotted here for the head length of these heads here, is this size here. Now I know that the size of my horse head is going to be three inches. So I scanned a, a full-size ruler into my computer. And so I just take that head measurement, which is right there, that little square angled thing there. So what I do is I bring up uh, the uh, the head measurement right at the bottom of the ruler up to three inches and that automatically scales all these heads to a three inch scale. And then I just print it out. This is a publishing program. Uh, the one I use is called Print Master Gold 18 and um, I, I print out the, the, uh, the uh, picture, and I print it out uh, like this, and then, let me get my thing here, this is the head measurement, and it matches what my, my uh, calipers were on. So now, all my head measurements, I can take directly off this drawing and reproduce the head as exactly as I can. So, that's uh, how I did this. So I save the project and uh, I've got it for the next time. If I want to 
do a two inch head length and I just scale it for two inch head length and automatically all the pictures uh, are scaled for that. So right now I'm just going to start putting clay on. Let me get my lights around here so I can see what the heck I'm doing. All right, that's uh, how I start it, and I just put start putting the clay on. Now, I'm going to be constantly checking the length. Now, the horse's skull length is going to be a little bit less than the horse's head. And you can see how that uh, pointer uh, comes just above the, uh, uh, right in the middle of the nostrils. So, if I'm going to do the skull first, I need to bring this down to the length of the skull. That I'm going to use on the horse. I'm just checking the silhouette of this uh, clay because it looks a little thick to me, and it is <laughs> by quite a bit. So I'm just going to cut it down to the silhouette of this horse. There we go.
right, I'm struggling with it today, and I'm going to quit. Because when you're struggling, it ain't going to go nowhere. So tomorrow, I'll be in a better mood, hopefully, and a better creative position than I am today. So I'm just going to stop before I go crazy and uh, just rethink this whole thing and try it again. All right, I just wanted to share a photograph uh, at the end of this uh, video session, <laughs> this failed video session, of a real Indian pony from the 1870s. Uh, they were small and almost the size of a Shetland pony, in fact, some cases. Uh, this one here uh, has, well, literally no neck at all. Um, if I was to sculpt a horse like that, no matter what, how accurate it was, it would not sell. It just would not sell. All right, have a great night, everybody. And uh, hopefully I'll be in a better frame of mind tomorrow to work on the head of this horse.